<laughs> Here's a strange spinning top. Look at this one here. I'm still looking for unusual tops, and this was one of the most unusual ones I've ever found. It was, um, I found it in, <clears throat> in America, and I found that they, the chap who had invented it, uh, showing it F.A. Schwartz, and it's called Topnosis. What about that? What a name. What a name. This is invented by, in 1995, by a company called Horizon Shine Toy Company. I like that. Horizon, like the far horizon and shine, up and shine, but put the two words together, you got horizon shine, sounds like rise and shine, the sun's up, you know. You'll see the blurb at the back, lots and lots about it. But they're still making these, I suppose they are, actually. This is, um, wow, wow, Wack Hill in New York, the state of New York as well, yep. So, 30 years old, yes, 25 years old, it does something quite extraordinary, which I don't think I've ever seen done on the top before. You put the spinning top on this, and you put the top up, rather oddly, um, the other way up. That's how it stands, but you're actually spinning it that way, like that. And then what you do, which is extraordinary, is this material it's made of has got a certain frictional property, which is exactly what's needed to, to get this effect here, like this. Can you hear that whirring noise? That means... Ooh, I'll do it again. It's got a nice sort of... It's got a nice noise to it. Let's see if I can get it closer to it. No. Anyway, as long as you can be bothered to keep turning it like that in circles where it's going downhill all the time, so it will keep going. And then something extraordinary happened a few years later it was at the New York Toy Fair. And outside, it was a nice warm day once in, in February, some people had a giant version of this, huge, you know, several yards long, and six people in a team were around it. They weren't spinning a, um, a, a top, they were spinning a, a wooden egg like this one here. This is just made of wood. And on the board, they all had to act to make sure that it didn't act like that with six people in a team, highly coordinated. And the effect was really quite remarkable. Let's see if I can at least get this one to work on here. I tweet it up, no, a bit harder than that. No, I've got it a bit harder yet. I'll bring it down a bit so you can see what's happening here. I'm trying to get this a good initial spin. We are. That's better. Yes, I can hear from the whirring sound that it's starting to feed energy into the ball itself. So as long as I can be bothered to do that, it's going to keep going. And so on, I'll let it stop there. I also had to go with... Uh, an egg like this, which is made of alabaster, I think, but it's a bit fragile, that I don't want to drop it on the floor. The best thing, really, was or either the individual version, this one here, or making a giant... Oh, that's a ball falling. Or make a giant version of this um, and have a team highly coordinated to create that movement like that. You must be downhill all the way, but a gentle slope, so it doesn't... Um, it, it doesn't it don't, doesn't start slipping. It actually grips the surface. So that's a remarkable toy. So amongst my... Um, collection of spinners. I think that's one of the most outstanding. Now there's a lovely one here from Kurt Nace Company. In fact, the next two are both the Kurt Nace ones. I think this is an odd one which came out about 30 years ago, I think it was. It's got the logo Kurt Nace on it there, if I can see it. N-A-E-F. And it's got balls there which are made of probably plastic. Oh no, they might be wooden balls. The idea is to set it spinning, which is okay, like that. And they immediately form a ring due to centrifugal force, centrifugal force, or whatever you want to call it. Um, nice addition of colours, of course, because the balls are green and yellow and orange. And then when you slow it down like this, it comes to the centre. Now, I'll do it, I'll get it a bit more ordinary. That, that slowing down is quite remarkable, really. No, I want to get it a bit harder yet. Hold it like that, hold it down and slow it down. And as it slows down, they all drift down into the bottom and being pulled by, by gravity. And down they come in a swirling mass. That's very attractive. Very, very nice effect. So, well, well done, Kurt Nace Company. Here's a second set of balls they made. Was, again, a little bit later on, I think. Sort of back in the 1990s or 80s, I think. This set of balls here, which are quite extraordinary because these are spheres which are two sizes. There's a hemisphere at the bottom and a smaller hemisphere at the top, and they've been welded or joined together with glue off-centre like that. Very strange. Every one of them is the same thing. 
and they behave in a very strange way. I'll try the green one to start with on my my little spinning plate here, which is the best way to show it probably. And the idea, I think, I think, I haven't got instructions with this, you don't spin it like that, well you could, but you're supposed to spin it top like that and then set it spinning. And sometimes the top bit opens up, oops, dear, dear. sometimes the top bit opens up and then proceeds quite, quite randomly to change the axis. That one's ended upside down, sometimes that's the other way up. Let's try one more time. I'll try it this way up, and as I'm setting it spinning, it makes it a little more dynamic and unstable, because it's, top, it's now top-heavy, as it were. Now it's ended up that way up, yes, quite nice. And now let's try the very smallest one, just for a bit of fun. I might just sp try spinning like that, but I think, oh yes, no, that works as well. Let's, let's try that again then. So it's spinning like that. The best part of it is when you are you get in the axis changing from that, that, from that position there to that position there, and this opens up and you're seeing the interior, which is very, very attractive effect. It looks like there's a little, there's a little cap on the top at the moment, and when it opens up, Sometimes it opens up and closes. I'll try the yellow one just for completion. There's, there's quite a contrasting interior bit, though, which is starting to appear Ooh, like that. So for students studying the dynamics of uh, spinning objects, this is really quite exceptional. These ones here are something else, because no one's ever made anything quite like this before, or since, I don't think. It's a real curtain -ace special. Wow. The last one is um, a fairly standard item, but it's been enhanced with some extra bit of fun in games. Let's show the original item. It's a very attractive thing, this. It's a lovely little um, that, uh, a box with a, with, a, with, a, with a mirror at the top, and uh, it's got uh, batteries underneath. When you turn it on, there's, yeah, there's a motor going. When you put things on it, and these all got magnets underneath, but with a nice curved surface, they picked up and they start spinning. Another one goes there, another one goes there. This looks particularly nice, I think, if we get back, I think when we get back to the studio, to shine color, uh, la different color laser beams on those, you'll get a fantastic light display around the, the whole room, the ceiling and everything as you go around. Just for a bit of fun, I thought, what about one of these? It's a magnetic marble with a magnet underneath. Take that one off and put that in its place and see what it does. Yep, it spins. That's right, with the, with, with the color segment at the top. Just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd add one of these. But the trouble is, I haven't got a magnet for this one. It's a little globe of the world, so it doesn't stay upright in the proper position. It's got a nice curvature to it, but it just rolls in a rather odd way, which is not really quite so interesting, perhaps. I'll put a small one for size to go with it. So that's a bit of fun, that. It's a, it's a, a desktop, really, a desktop fiddle toy, but with the possibility of adding things to it, which makes for a bit of fun, I think. And uh, something I've enjoyed showing in my collection at kids' parties, too. So magnets, still more to come. I keep looking for the magnet toys. There's so many of them and so many different types. I love them. So think magnets. It's magnet week. Oh, and they drop all over the place. <laughs>